Hi, this is a walk around tour of my 2003 registered Factory 5 Mark II Cobra replica. It's finished in pewter metallic paint, it's a GM paint code. It's covered uh, with uh, glazerite clear coat, and the paint is really in superb condition. Uh, there's virtually no stone chips on the car. There's a few little areas I'll trying to point them out as we go through the video. Uh, the wheels are three-piece, four-lug, compomotive, powder-coated wheels. There's no road rash on any of those. The tires are original to the car, so they're uh, even though they got great tread on them, they may want to get replaced. The side pipes are the Factory 5 side pipes. They're ceramic coated. Ceramic coating is in great shape. Uh, on the underside, I repainted uh, where uh, I think they put the ceramic coating on a little bit thin and there was some light rust showing up. Uh, but it's not really apparent from the outside of the car. And when you get underneath, you can start to see the painted area. There's one little defect in the paint right here which got touched up. Um, that's really the, the main defect in the paint job on the whole car. Again, here's the rear wheel. The tires. One of my favorite features is the uh, cast aluminum pop-up gas cap. And I've fitted it with a uh, push-through nozzle. So you don't need to take that off to gas the car up. Has a locking trunk and included with the car is a uh, custom California car cover, a California car duster. Also, I've never had to use this, but uh, I've included a flat fix and uh, a small compressor. I've got a fire extinguisher, battery shut off switch. Is in great shape. Uh, side pipe on this one, you can see the uh, paint I was talking about on the inside. Uh, it'll go a long way, uh, but uh, overall, the pipes look nice. Windshield's in great shape. Really, no pits or uh, chips in the glass. And uh, also, the interior, the seats are perky. 16 inch aluminum frame racing seats. Uh, they were recovered a couple years ago, so they're not faded and uh, they're a nice shape. The seats are super comfortable and add a measure of safety to the car that I didn't have with my low back seats before. Uh, I would never want to get rear ended in one of these cars uh, without having something behind my head other than a roll bar. I'll give you a tour on the interior in a minute. These uh, side vents are uh, from the finish line. They're a nice little unit, an upgrade from the Factory 5 kit. Painted in black. And the front wheel, again, no road rash on there, curb rash. And uh, all the chrome's in great shape. All the lights and signals and everything work. The radiator was refreshed a couple of years ago. And uh, so it's in, in great shape. Car runs nice and cool all the time, even on the hottest days we get around here. I'll give you a rundown on the instrument panel. Uh, the dashboard is uh, leather covered, aluminum dash panel. Uh, we have auto meter, auto meter uh, classic gauges. Uh, an upgraded uh, electronic speedometer, auto meter reverse reading, 
The odometer on the car is showing 21,669. Those are true miles since the car has been on the road. We've got a tachometer. And uh, each of the gauges are, the gauges uh, also are complemented by uh, warning lights. So I have a uh, ammeter warning light up here. So if we have a charging problem, that'll light up. There's a low oil uh, level, which is yellow. Low oil pressure is red. An engine warning light. If there's a problem with the ECU or the emission system. And there's a water temperature. So you don't need to keep your eyes pinned on the gauges to know if you got a problem, although I really haven't had any problems. But uh, And then uh, in terms of accessories, uh, it's pretty bare bones. Uh, I do have a little... Uh, light I can turn on here uh, for dark nights when you're fumbling around. Uh, there's uh, emergency flashers. So it uh, gets all four lights going. There's a two-speed fan for the heat. I have a uh, classy single windshield wiper with two speeds. Horn. And uh, also on the end of the stock of the blinker, I've also got a second horn connection here, so you can get it with your hands on the wheel. And then we've got a high beam switch over here, and uh, headlights, and running lights. So the engine is cold in the car, and I'm going to uh, start it up. forgot to mention when I was talking about the gauges is that the fuel gauge is not completely accurate. I've been living with it for the last 19 years and never run out of gas, but uh, the, the tank is actually empty when it reads a quarter of a tank, so it tends to stay on full. The gauge itself is good. Uh, I troubleshot that, but uh, it must be a problem with the sender in the tank, which I haven't taken the time to go after. <laughs>